Episode eight, and we're taking on water. Do you care to explain no. what is happening? No. This is backwards. All right, so we have this little problem, which is our drain for the anchor locker, and it fell out, which left a big gaping hole just a foot above the water line. Which means that every time we stuffed the bow, there was a hole this big that was letting water gush into the boat. We've been motoring to Catalina for the past two hours, completely oblivious until I look off the stern of the boat and I see water splashing. I'm like, that's very weird. So I look and I notice it was the bilge pump and my heart froze. And that's when I remembered the hole in the front of my boat. So that overflowed, uh, came through this power conduit, filled up this V-Birth locker, overspilled via the power conduit again into the big V-Birth locker, made its way into the bilge and tripped the bilge pump. So we've probably taken on, oh, I would say upwards of 50 gallons of water, which is a lot of water to, <laughs> to take onto a sailboat and not notice. And we have a very shallow bilge. So now that the leak is stopped, I am sucking out all of the water with this wet vac. So thank you, Dad, for buying me a bucket head uh, wet dry vacuum. It is indispensable for boat life. All right, dump it in the bilge. Move your leggy. Oh. Never a dull passage on Ambrosia. Right, Sam? Nope. Should we go check and see if our passenger is all right? He's reading my book, he's fine. Oh, he's good? Okay, today we actually have Brian joining us from my workplace. And there's no wind, but you know, we're weekend warriors, so we're motoring all the way to two harbors. Uh, we should probably get there around 10.30, 11 o'clock at night. We'll drop the hook in two harbors and Brian and I are gonna go diving and Samantha's gonna do something a little different. She brought her folding bicycle and she's gonna paddle board to shore with her folding bike and go explore the island uh, via bike. And I think that's super cool. So I'm gonna head out into the cockpit and actually steer my boat or pretend to steer it. And I'm gonna call this a job well done. So Brian, what do you think about our sinking boat? Uh, well, we're half in water right now. Um, that's true. So we maybe we'll get into Catalina, but you know, up to here. Okay, good. Yeah, we can pump it out as fast as it comes in, right, Sam? Shovel it out. As long as the engine stays on, we're good. Yeah, sure. So we've got absolutely no wind. And it's a beautiful sunset here. We're going straight into the predominant swell. And you can see we're stuffing the bow quite a bit. And every time we stuff that bow, water comes in. But we've plugged it, we're good, it's beautiful. We've already seen a mola mola. We've had dinner already, so we're fed, we're happy, we're merry. We're headed to Two Harbors again, and life is good. Welcome back to Ambrosia. So we made it safe and sound to Two Harbors. And we're just getting ready for bed now. Did the bow and stern anchor between two other boats here. Kind of took us a while. We probably tried four or five times. Oh, what the hell was that noise? Nice shorts, babe. I'm sorry to take your underwear. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I didn't bring any shorts. Like, how did that happen? <laughs> Don't record this! <laughs> <laughs> no, I should be able to. The only woman on board just left. You might recall Long from the previous right episode that I completely tore out the head on Ambrosia. The first of our crew to leave. This means that from time to time, we have to get off the boat and go use the public restrooms on land. First one to go was Samantha. As soon as we were done with breakfast, Samantha was itching to get back to shore and start exploring. So we packed up her folding bicycle and wished her a safe okay. adventure. 
I have it. You just guide it. Is that good? And it's stable? Uh, it's more stable this way. Alright. Alright, y'all. Hey, you got the lock? Yes. Okay, here you go. Thank you. All right, have fun. Have, have fun, fun exploring. Have fun. I'll let you join see you guys in the afternoon. We'll see. Okay, cool. Okay. That's pretty neat, Sam. That works out really well. Look at that. It makes it hard to paddle, but it works. It does work. You know, so far we've done pretty good without a dinghy, but sooner or later, we're gonna need to upgrade this paddleboard to something more robust. Once Sam was gone, we reset the anchors from last night and reduced our swinging radius by pulling the stern anchor line with a winch. You can see the angle that the stern anchor line is at and it's clearly under a couple hundred pounds of tension. I'll walk to the bow and check out what the bow anchor chain looks like. It's also under tension and forms a nice catenary curve to the bottom of the seafloor. It takes a little practice to get both anchor lines under tension, but when you do it right, you can point your sailboat in any direction you like in the anchorage and minimize rolling in the swell. A shout out to Joe and Jen from Evening Sky who taught us how to do this. Once we were satisfied that Ambrosia wasn't going anywhere, we decided to don our wetsuits and explore the underwater kelp forests. It's as gentle on the eyes as pure water. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm trying to defog the goggles. That's what NASA uses, isn't it? You're the NASA expert, you work at like Yeah, I think I recall a story like that. Some uh, Canadian astronaut went for a spacewalk and he, and they didn't use Johnson's back in the day and he teared up. Yeah. And then legend has it that now NASA uses Johnson's baby shampoo as their anti-fog. Michael, tell me what you caught. I caught uh, an opali and I caught a calico sea bass just over there in the kelp forest. It was really pretty. It was all protected on the top and then you would dive down and go into the into the kelp and it was a big dome on the inside and there were all sorts of fish swimming around. It was really pretty. And now we're here on this little beach. We're just taking a breather and enjoying the views and having a great time.
my times. All right. That's Cheers. Okay. Sam, you want a beer, right? Yeah. And you're having soda, right? Yeah, I'm just having All right, cool. So we got our ceviche bass, some avocado, tomato, lettuce, chips and dip, beers, cold beers at that. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers to cold beer. And cold soda. And cold soda. Heck yeah. Sam is all proud that she rigged herself a hammock between the mass and the forest day. Not bad, huh? <laughs> I like this. I'm just checking to make sure she's got good knots, but this girl knows what she's doing. Cool. Is it five o'clock? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's five! It's five o'clock! All right, if you've never been to Avalon or Two Harbors at five o'clock, then listen up. You gotta toot your horn so that everybody knows it's time to enjoy sundowners. And that's the law. Yeah, it's fine. So we just took the long way uh, to land. The boat's way over there in the anchorage and we plopped the paddleboard down right next to a spinal cord. Look at this. What on earth is this? It has to be a fish. Do you see the symmetry here? Yeah. Of the tailbone? shark. It's cartilage. It's not cartilage, it's bone. Oh, that is wild. It's big too. Wow. I think. I think that's a tuna? Right Has to be, it's at least four feet long, and that's only half, that's only the spinal cord, right? Yeah, that's amazing. Here's another piece of bone right here. That's incredible. Cool, man. You just don't see that every day. No, you don't. I cannot believe what I am seeing. That is Delray Yacht Club here in Cat Harbor. And right there on the hill, right there is a bison, a free roaming bison. Fast forward to the next day, we picked up our ground tackle and motored towards Avalon to scope out other anchorages. Samantha picked out Little Gibraltar on the map, so we decided to drop anchor and check it out before sailing home. Brian and I took the paddleboard over to Little Gibraltar Rock to see if the diving was any good. I could see Garibaldi. The water clarity was insane, and we stuck the GoPro underwater just to confirm what we could see with our own eyes. Okay, so we're anchored here uh, next to Little Gibraltar Rock and you can see some kids about to do some cliff jumping off of that rock. And Brian and I just went over to Little Gibraltar with the paddleboard and it was so crystal clear that we couldn't pass up the opportunity to go diving. So the three of us are suiting up to whatever extent we feel comfortable and we're gonna go and dive and just see what the heck is underneath the water. And I'm getting warm. Okay. All right, see ya. Look at the water clarity here. It's incredible. I got distracted with a school of smell and then made my way over to check out the rocks. The rocks here at Little Gibraltar have a yellow kelp called sargassum, and although it's beautiful, it's invasive to Southern California and causes many problems. You can see right in the middle of the sargassum is a single remaining strand of giant kelp, the last of its kin struggling to compete with the invasive sargassum. When it takes over like this, it completely changes the ecosystem. Just compare with the kelp forest earlier in the video and you'll see that there are no calico bass, no blacksmith, no sheephead, there are other species here, but it just doesn't support the same levels of life that the native kelp forest does. It's so pretty, but so detrimental to the ecosystem. So 
So I can't believe it. Here we are sailing home at seven and a half knots and it's so comfortable. We're going upwind back home. We just hit 8.2 knots sailing upwind with Ambrosia. I've never been this fast going upwind before. All right, here we see Michael in his favorite position. This is my new spot now. Hey, nice helmsmanship, Brian. You're welcome. You're sailing us fast. I'm hitting the gas pedal hard, that's why. I mean, they are. They're blowing through money like no one's business. We're sailing for free. You know, sailing isn't always glamorous, so we really have to appreciate these moments when everything is perfect and the seas are gentle. I'm really happy to have shared this weekend with Brian and Samantha, and so happy to have shared it with everyone that is still watching. If you like the content that I put out to the world, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and stick around until next time.